Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about the steel ball and having it be used with your Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit. Guess what? No brick, no motors, not even cables. It's going to be the steel ball and your Lego EV3 kit. Stay tuned to find out what's going on. Okay, so my students have a project with this steel ball. They are going to use their Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit. They can use extra pieces if they want, but they are going to make a steel ball timer, which means when they let this steel ball go, uh, we set our time at four seconds. So this steel ball must go through their, uh, whatever they can think up, and it will take four seconds by the time they let go to the time that it stops. Let me have you take a look at what they're working on. Let's go. Okay, so this is one of the steel ball timers that we have. Um, you can obviously see that uh, they decided to go up and have this thing come down in a series of cascading, uh, looks like little slides. So what I'm gonna do is just demonstrate this. They're not done with it yet. Um, and they're not at four seconds yet, but this is giving you kind of an idea of, you know, what could be done or made uh, when given this project. So they have the ball starting uh, up here. So basically I'm going to let it go, and um, I already know what the time is because we timed it in class today, but I will let you just see the direction that the ball takes. So let me kind of switch hands here with this camera. Okay, so... It's one of those things where you got to watch the ball really fast. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. And the goal was for it to end up, it kind of fell on the floor here. Oops. The goal was to end up having it go inside uh, these H frames there. So let's give that another shot. Whoa. And having this thing stay up, was another one of the challenges. It should be able to stand up on its own and not fall over. So let's go ahead and give this another try here. Like I said, it's not perfect yet, so. Definitely not perfect. Okay, let me hold this thing up while I'm, all right, here we go. Okay, so. Ooh, the steel ball got away from me here. Okay, so this steel ball timer is going to have a lot of trial and error on it. Um, you know, four seconds when you're working on this, it's a long time. Uh, so this one here, we timed it at a little over two seconds, 2.29 seconds. So all they have to do now is figure out a way to get those extra, you know, that second and maybe 1.7 seconds maybe. And uh, it's just gonna be interesting to see what they can come up with. Definitely an engineering uh, project here uh, so that they can figure out, you know, what do we do to create more time? They can't go over four seconds. So they're gonna have to do something to lessen it if they go over. So it's definitely a work in progress. Uh, it was just one of those projects I thought you might find interesting. Here's another uh, steel ball timer. I did not visit this group as far as asking them to demonstrate it today because we had short periods. So tomorrow I'm definitely going to ask them, hey, where does the ball start and uh, where does it finish? So as we end towards the end of the year here, um, I'm looking for projects that my students uh, can find enjoyable, uh, show off their engineering skills, uh, their problem solving skills. Uh, and not have to, you know, do with anything with robotics as far as motors or gears. Uh, just some thinking processes that, you know, they can work with a partner through and try to solve. So those of you that are looking for projects that your students can do, let's say you've kind of exhausted a lot of the robotics projects, this would be something neat for them to do. Um, I'll also give you a link to the golf ball tower. That's kind of cool to do. We did that early in the year so students can get familiar with the parts and pieces, but... That might be something that, you know, you can revisit towards the end of the year, too. It might be something fun. 
So hopefully you're ending your year off good, uh, those of you that are in school, and this is just a neat project that you might consider, uh, those of you that are teachers or, or students. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mission Lego Robotics. I'm out.